Okay, so now we're going to work on uh, teaching Sam to walk next to you at a heel without being all over the place on the leash. Now it starts in the house. So remember, we're going to practice that leashing up exercise that we did off camera until he's in a completely calm state of mind like this and he's not racing you to where the leash is and he's not jumping up. He's got to come to you to put the collar on and put the special twist on the Martingale leash. All right, so we're gonna use the stairs, going down the stairs, you're gonna stop abruptly two or three times going down the stairs, make sure you pop that leash quick uh, each time and then he's, he can't go ahead of you. Now the rules for the walk, rule number one, stand in position. So his shoulder should be aligned with your hip like it is now, as far ahead as your, your stride is, so put your foot out there. His nose should never be farther ahead than the tip of your toe. Rule number two, no stopping and sniffing. He can sniff as long as he's going, but if he stops and sniffs and you stop, he controlled the walk. And the rule number three, no marking. Now we're gonna let him pee in designated areas because this is redondo and you don't have a yard. Um, but if he's marking things, like I said, that's gonna make him more assertive around other dogs. Now you're gonna, your goal is to keep your arm straight, going straight down. The only time that you're gonna put tension on the line is when you bend it to correct the leash and it needs to be a quick jerk or popping motion. And always forward, don't ever pull it backwards because you're putting tension on the leash. All right, let's go ahead and go down the stairs. That was good. I like how his ears are back. Excellent. Oh, look at that. He took an SIT. Sam knows what's up. That was a good one. A little bit, that was a little slow. We're going to go a little bit faster. Now, do you have a leash for uh, the V-Man? Uh, yeah. Can you call him up here and Buddy. so we can go out the door real quick and you can follow us? Buddy, come here. Okay, so now let's address the door, uh, but maybe be a little bit further away so that he can remain in an SIT. So uh, quicker tug, there you go. Sit. Tell him to SIT. Sit. Now reach forward and just jiggle the handle of the door. See that jiggle caused him to get up. Put him in a sit again. Sit. Make sure he's facing the door this time. Now reach forward and jiggle it again. And, and jiggle the deadbolt. So these are what we call triggers. So what we want to do is we want to practice doing these things. Sorry, better light for the mm -hmm. camera. Um, and so that he understands just because I hear that something that precedes the door opening doesn't mean I have permission to run out. They're going to open it just a crack. Oh, now put him in a sit first. Sit. Pop it. Now go ahead and open it just a crack. Sorry. Pop, pop it. There you go. All right, go ahead and open it a little bit more. See how he kind of stuttered forward and stopped? All right, go ahead and close it. Go ahead and open it again. This time try to open it all the way. Sit. Pop the leash. Sit. Open it all the way. Now again, whoever goes through the door matters. Whoever goes through the door first matters, I should say. So you're going to go ahead and walk through the door first, and he's going to follow. Excellent. Great correction. Now, make, I would have made him completely SIT Sit. there, okay. but that was okay. All right, if you want to put him on a leash and follow us. Now he's getting you a little head. That was good correction. Uh, that was too, <laughs> you're, you held your arm up there. <laughs> I don't know how to Pop make it. it powerful well, it's not power, it's fast. So it's the speed of your correction. It's a quick jerk, not a pull. All right, let me get ahead of you. All right, so let's go ahead. We're just going to walk up and down in front of your place. We're not going to go too far for right now. Now, how does he, this compare to how he normally is on um. a walk? Is he already kind of in more mellow of a mood? Uh, he's a little more mellow. He seems tired, but he's, he's you can, his breathing's picked up. You sure. can tell he's ready to. Okay. So once we get up to here where the, uh, where this little thing is, we're going to stop putting him in SIT. Pop it. Now I want faster. That's good. Pop it. And keep going. Try to do it without stopping. Pop it. And relax it. You're pulling. That's all right. No, don't worry about it. Turn around and go the other way. And just keep going. Don't wait for him. Just keep going. That was excellent. He gets in front of you. We're going to turn around and do a U-turn again. This is a much better position. Starting to drift. Pop it. And there you go. That was better. That was faster. You still kept it up. Now turn around and go. Now you might have to start your walk by doing this several times. So he understands just because we're going to walk. No. He can stop and sniff. He can he can sniff, but he can't stop. But he might under, he need to understand that when we go on the walk, we're going back and forth and several times until I just am in the right position. All right, I'm gonna give you one of these. Turn around. Let's go back to the garbage. 
When you get to the garbage, I'm gonna have you turn around and take two steps. Oh, that was a good one. That was good timing. Go ahead and turn around, take two steps away. Keep going, keep going this way, yep. And stop short. Take a couple more steps and stop unexpectedly and put him into an SIT. Put the treat in front of his nose. Right in front of his sit. nose. Now up. Sit. Give it to him. Say sit. So every once in a while, what I would have you do is, is have a sit. Have a bag of treats or a pocket full of treats so that you can stop maybe every house. You stop short, put him in a sit, and give him that treat and a reward immediately. After a while, you get to the point where you stop, he just sits down immediately expecting to get that treat from you. All right, that's pretty good, buddy.